Hello and welcome to EuroPCR 2024. I'm Chris Cook and I'm delighted to be joined here with PCR course director Nicolas Dumental and London Vowels course director Bernard Prendergast. So from all of the learning, the education, the science, and of course the socializing, it's our job here today to pick some highlights to share with the audience at home. So Nico, can you kick us off and tell us what are your key highlights? I think my, my first one will uh, come from the community. We had this year a record number of submission of abstracts and case and coming to the field of uh, structural or, or valvular heart disease, it reflects a, a, a high growing experience and level of a community regarding uh, TAVI, mitral, tricuspid interventions with very, very uh, highly specialized cases or, or uh, studies in that field. So this is my, my, my take. And that's how we learn, isn't it, from our colleagues and our peers. Okay, and Bernard, the same question to you. What were your key highlights? Well, we've seen a huge spectrum of live cases this year in Paris. And uh, in particular, we're seeing TAVI now being applied in more complex and high-risk scenarios, reflecting our everyday clinical practice, but also the maturity and the establishment of mitral and tricuspid interventions in the mainstream and in the main arena. And those particular procedures have also emphasized a major theme of this course, which has been the importance of imaging and how this is essential not only in the selection of patients, but also in guiding procedures to get the best clinical outcomes. And, and Bernard, maybe I, I would add to, to that, um, that choice of a live cases topic, that we paid particular attention this year uh, to the selection of a topic of the TAVI live cases, uh, wanting to highlight one potential issue for the medical community we are, that is the how to treat degenerated aortic bioprosthesis. That is maybe a, one issue to come we'll have to face in the community. So we wanted to particularly focus on that issue this year and of course in the coming years also in order to educate ourselves and uh, try to find the good solutions for the patients. And you know, we have to look after our patients now, but we have to plan for the future as well. Okay, gentlemen, so we've talked about education. We've talked about live cases. How about the science? So uh, uh, a particular intention of the EuroPCR course directors this year was to really emphasize the role of clinical science and late-breaking data. And we had some very important uh, initial studies presented at this year's meeting in a late-breaking trial session, highlighting firstly the Notion 2 trial, an important trial conducted and led by uh, Denmark and the Nordic countries, wherein Young, low-risk patients were randomized to surgery or TAVI, demonstrating a, a, almost identical outcomes in patients with tri-leaflet valves, but also in a pre-specified sub-analysis, raising one or two questions about the uh, efficacy of TAVI in bicuspid aortic valve anatomy. And whilst the trial wasn't powered for that particular endpoint, it does raise just one or two cautionary notes about the application of TAVI in younger patients with bicuspid valves. The second important study reflecting the international dimensions of EuroPCR was the landmark study uh, that evaluated and compared the newcomer MyVal valve from India with the established market leaders, uh, the balloon expandable Sapien valve and the self-expanding Evolute valve demonstrating at 30 days very reassuring equivalent outcomes and meeting the non-inferiority endpoint. And these trials will be published uh, simultaneously this week, uh, the Notion 2 in European Heart Journal and the landmark trial in The Lancet. And um, coming to this point, Bernard, and also uh, um, uh, referring to the, this uh, issue I mentioned about treating degenerated bioprocesses, we know that this is sometimes um, an intervention that is made difficult because of the risk of periprocedural coronary occlusion. And uh, there are so far some techniques to try to avoid that. But uh, this year we had also, um, among the PCR uh, late-breaking trials presented, one I would like to pick up that is the shortcut trial that presented the outcome of a dedicated device to uh, lacerate the aortic leaflets 
to avoid this risk of periprocedural coronary occlusion, and that showed promising results and that would, I hope and I think, uh, allow to standardize uh, this uh, adjunctive measure to reduce the risk of periprocedural coronary occlusion during a reintervention for, for a degenerated aortic valve. And of course, it was also uh, simultaneously published in Europe in our journal. And I think this year more than ever, these are really practice informing late breaking trials uh, at Europe ECR this year. Okay, so perhaps final highlight going uh, back to you, Bernard. What about a look into the future for the field of valvular intervention? Well, a main area under discussion with relation to TAVI is the notion of intervening earlier in the natural history of the disease. We already know in mitral valve disease that that is good for clinical outcomes, but we as yet do not have high quality randomized control trial data. But we are looking forward to the publication and presentation of the early TAVA trial later this year. And that will be nested with a precision medicine study, the EVOLVE trial, that will tell us more about the mechanisms of benefit in these patients and also how we identify the highest risk asymptomatic subjects. So this is going to be the late breaking uh, data a little bit later in the year. And we look forward to focusing on that at PCR London Valves. Gentlemen, thank you both very much for sharing those excellent highlights with us. And as we said, there, the look is into the future and we hope that you'll join us at PCR London Valves later this year, November the 24th to the 26th. Thanks for watching.